victory. So, you know, listen, man. I, so, how bad is the shoulder injury now? Will it possibly scupper the fight in December, assuming Anthony Joshua wins tonight? I'll show up December. Don't worry about that. December, I'll show up. If we've had one arm and one leg, I'll show up December. Tell us what you've been working on in the gym at the Cronk in Detroit. We've been working in the basics, really. Um, jabs, one, two. You know, left hook, right hands, jabs, double jab and triple jab. I was a bit disappointed I couldn't um, execute as much as I started off jabbing, but you know, then my shoulder was um, I felt my I flipped the jab and I felt my shoulder. But I thought, you know what? Whatever, I'm gonna do something else, and that, that's what um, fighting's about. It's about adapting, and you know, something hurts or something don't work, and go to something else, and that's what I've done. I'm not really a guy that throw a lot of right hands. I'm from really my jab and my left hook and stuff and whatever, but you know, I had to change it to, to something else, so, you know. That's your seventh straight knockout since the inactivity after the ban. Do you feel ready for anti Joshua now? Tell us why you're convinced you're going to beat him. Listen, I know the Joshua fight's going to be a good, a good fight, a hard fight, but I'm ready. Like I said, I don't want to be one of those guys that keep fighting guys with losing record that already mentally, you know, you're going to win them fights 70% anyway, so, you know, I want to... As I'm in the game, to put on good fights, test myself, and give the fans good fights, and the fans support me when, when I have my two-year suspension. So, you know, that's, that's what I'm here to do, and to win the British title and move on, you know, so. Well done on the stoppage. Tell him Mike gets the win. He sounds like he's not happy, even though he got the win. It keeps him on track for that December 12th. Um, December the 12th, 2015, we're supposed to have a big international fight, not big in the U.S., but big over in the U.K., between Anthony Joshua, undefeated prospect, versus Dylan White, also an undefeated prospect. Dylan White is now 16-0 with 14 knockouts, if I'm correct. I am Tishtree Controversy. This is Tishtree Controversy Live. He made easy work of Brian Minto, even though he said he was injured. Me, personally, I was thinking like, oh, he didn't really look that good, but hold on. Let me, um, oh no, he don't have anything else to say. Um, I guess we might as well just go ahead and talk about what we want to talk about as far as Anthony Joshua versus Dylan White. Brian Minto was a fighter who put on a pretty spirited performance. He got knocked out as he should have. But Dylan White, as you can as you can hear from his uh, post fight interview, he doesn't sound too press and impressed. And also, he talked about an injury. In my opinion, from watching previous Dylan White fights, I feel that he's a bit too slow for Anthony Joshua and a bit too defensively flawed. To whereas in Anthony Joshua is coming off to be the total package. So if I have to go ahead and pick someone to win. Which I'm likely, which I'm likely not the only one. I'm going to be picking Anthony Joshua, but Dylan White will be a big step up for him, a big test for him after Gary Cornish, assuming that um, in in about you know in half an hour or so, Anthony Joshua defeats Gary Cornish. By the way, you know they actually got a nice crowd in that O2 arena, you know, which actually puts I don't know how much the tickets are. You know, but it actually puts, you know, um, guys like Deontay Wilder ticket sales to shame, in my opinion. Um, if you don't know, I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live with RealCombatMedia.com, and I cover every single major fight live. The biggest issue I'm having right now is, is Dylan White really good? See, I can put Anthony Joshua up there with guys like Tyson Fury, Vladimir Klitschko, Brian Jennings, Deontay Wilder. But when I think of Dylan White, I think I'm putting him up there against guys like, I mean, with guys like, you know, second tier heavyweights with guys like Chris Areola. But as I said, both of these guys still have so much to learn. In my opinion, Dylan White has more to learn than Anthony Joshua. I am T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.